What is going on everybody? It's your boy Skills coming back with another video for New World. Um, we are touching base on update 1.2.1. Um, I know that's a little late right now. I decided to just kind of do my stuff on New World. Um, I've been going back and forth from Icarus and New World, but um, I think it's time to just commit to New World. Um, January is looking absolutely fabulous when it comes to this new update and content. I feel like the game is finally coming to a point where everybody wanted it to be when it first launched. Um, and it should be the feel of a full game when you come back in January. So um, definitely a good time to come back uh, if, if, if you were ever on the fence about New World. Um, it's definitely a great time. Um, so to touch base on 1.2.1... Um, in this update, uh, they came out with a few things that fixed quite a few problems. For instance, um, your watermark, okay? Um, previously, before this update, the only way you could get your watermark up is if you were doing elite chests or elite enemies in certain areas. It didn't matter if they were just 60. They had to be a 61 to get to 535 watermark and they had to be a 62 to get to 545 watermark and they have to be 63 to get to uh, 565 or 575 and above and then they have to be 66s to get anything above 580 so like <clears throat> bro um, it was broken as hell and yes you could do your chests every single night but like one activity and that was it you couldn't really do the expeditions because you know it cost you 10 grand to get into Lazarus um, or you spend two weeks trying to grind out the materials just for one Lazorb um, so at that point what do you do do you sell them and it's just I don't know so there have been a lot of changes coming in January that are going to touch base on that. We will circle back around and talk about that here in just a moment. Um, but what we're playing with right now, um, we have the Winter Convergence. So the Winter Convergence Festival um, was an update to kind of bring a little bit of lore to the game. Um, it has this Yeti looking guy and apparently his backstory is about bringing joy and um, thanks to like the winter times apparently he's scared of a never-ending winter the never winter there i think is what they call it um but that's also in the lore of the game and what he does is he comes around to kind of bring joy to everybody so that nobody feels that the world's about to end <laughs> so shouts out to this guy um pretty cool um, but with this Winter Convergence, you can grind out multiple different types of activities that will give you this gypsum. Um, this is a limited time only, okay? It does say it in the notes. Um, so if you're looking to get these, like, housing items and the content from this stuff, it's only here for a little while, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure till probably maybe the first week of January, and then it's gone. Um, they didn't really give any dates, unfortunately. But the biggest part of this is going to be the gypsum that you find with each gypsum it depends on the type of gypsum but you can go to a kelm and heat the gypsum together and make what's called a cast the cast is going to be for each individual item in the game so for instance like if you want to upgrade your ice gauntlet um, watermark you cast a ice gauntlet and open it up and it will be a higher tier watermark than what you currently have. But you can only do that one time a day. Okay, um, So they kind of opened up the gates a little bit. It's not, um, it's not something you can do every single day. But um, you can update or, excuse me, upgrade your watermark that way. Um, so that gave one more avenue to do things. Um, also, they, if you are a tradesman or you do any kind of like skills training or hunting and gathering you now get once you reach 200 you get a trade skill and it's a leveling circle that you get three markers inside that circle each time you hit a marker you get a chest and within this chest is going to have epic uh gear um it's gonna have legendary items that you use for crafting um all kinds of stuff so instead of having to go out and do dungeons to get this stuff or do elite 
enemies to get this stuff, you can literally just go out and craft like you were doing before. And you'll get the stuff that you need. It does take a while. I'm not going to lie. Like my skinning, uh, you have to do a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, they did some PvP balance changes, um, PvP damage formula updates, crit damage applications, so on and so forth. Um, so those things are changing. It's kind of shifted the meta of the game a little bit, um, but that's okay. It still hasn't been kind of figured out yet. Um, everything's definitely getting uh, balanced, which is great. So it's kind of you're gonna have to do a lot of grinding after this next update to really figure out what the new meta is going to be because they're also introducing a new weapon the blunder bust so and people don't even know what skill tree that's going to go under if it's going to be a strength which is my guess um because it's like close range um it's a shotgun it probably takes a lot of strength to hold it these are just my theories but i'm guessing strength um or maybe constitution shit i don't even know there's not even a weapon under constitution um yeah I don't think it would be Intel. Intel's got, it's not a magical weapon. So, but Intel only has four weapons. It has the least amount of weapons. And also they're going to be adding more CC to the freaking ice gauntlet. Yo, I'm so excited. I watched the interview with them. Essentially that's where we got our company name. O penis. Um, so yeah, if you were watching that interview, you will completely understand the, relativity to my company name opinus um again we're on el dorado if you're looking for a company please come find us um join the discord it's also in my twitch stream um it's everywhere i put my links everywhere if you don't have it just dm me i'll send it to you um but yeah totally awesome totally excited for that so that kind of ends the december update okay um a few different changes they gave us some more content to work with um, and they gave us an ability to increase our watermarks so that's cool but what i'm really excited for is january because okay let's go into detail about january so everyone's been upset that there's no real like end game content right well what they're coming out with is 10 different levels of difficulty for each individual expedition plus six new expeditions six new expeditions so we'll have six we'll have 10 in total okay 10 expeditions each one is going to have a 10 levels of difficulty okay and then each week the difficulty the way they're going to do the difficulty is going to change so they have these things called mutations um now keep in mind follow along with me here Every single week, the mutation is going to change, which means the reward or the gear that you're going to be able to get is going to change. And these things are going to be on rotation, okay? That is a astronomical amount of items that you can get, especially if they're specific to that level of difficulty because you only get one week to do it, and then that's it. It changes. It goes to something else. So they're about to drop a bomb on us, guys. Like, they're about to drop so much content. It, it Bro, it's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. I just hope that they come with some type of transmog thing because I'm tired of searching for gear that I really like that I can't even wear because it's outside of my gear score. So that sucks, dude, and I hope they do something about that. Um, that's probably my last complaint about this game so far um, is going to be I can't wear what I want to wear. Like... I don't know. That, that Whatever. We'll figure that out. It's coming. But January uh, 15th to the 24th, I would imagine this should drop out. Um, it's going to be in the PTR probably the first week of January. Um, I really don't mess around with the PTR. I like surprises, um, but I probably should. If you guys want you know, see me mess around in the PTR a little bit and see what's going on, shoot me a message. Shoot me a comment in there. Um, I twitch between... I twitch. <laughs> I stream between like six and midnight. Um, well, I'm going to start in the next two weeks. Right now, it's between um, like two and six right now in the afternoon. Um, and then, uh, yeah, shoot me a like, shoot me a follow, subscribe, share this with your friends. 
let me know what you guys want to see more of. Um, we're definitely going to be zoning in on New World. So if there's anything kind of specific you guys want me to touch base on, please just let me know, and we'll go ahead and get it done. All right, till the next one. Uh, love you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye.